Long before I made a YouTube account, I needed to start somewhere. Thankfully, I was granted the opportunity to make several films with Nickelodeon characters at a very young age. I know, first I ran a champion basketball team with them, then I made movies with them. How have I never won a Kid's Choice Award? But there's an interesting story for how this came to be. I used to be obsessed with Nickelodeon, specifically the show SpongeBob SquarePants. I played every SpongeBob game I could find, but since I didn't have any consoles for a good portion of my childhood, I grew addicted to the PC games, even after I finally got my first console. I had played every AWE SpongeBob game up until their very last one, Nighty Nightmare, but I was faced with a conundrum. Back when I was a kid, my schools held these events called Scholastic Book Fairs. Sometimes they would be during the day while classes were going on, and other times we'd have to come back after school had ended. There were these big events where the school libraries or gyms would be filled with bookshelves that had all sorts of children's books you could buy. We even used to get catalogs in advance that would tell us what books the fair would have. I always used to circle the ones I wanted. This was where I got most of my Goosebumps and Bionicle books. All things considered, events like these were great for encouraging children to read. It was always a fun little thing to look forward to. These events were in association with Scholastic, a massive book company that published many works for children, even going beyond books themselves. This was evident when I saw they were selling old computer games one night. There were two games on sale that I didn't have. Nighty Nightmare, the final AWE game, and another one I hadn't seen before. Nickelodeon Toon Twister 3D, an official Scholastic game. I spent at least five minutes checking out both games, analyzing the covers and the descriptions on the back to see which one I liked more. It was a tough decision to make, but Toon Twister 3D looked a lot more interesting, so I ended up taking that one. Even as a fan of AWE, I think I can say I made the right choice there. I had so much fun messing with this little filmmaker, even if it was a little strange. Along with Scholastic, Toon Twister was also developed by WayForward Technologies. That's right, the same company that brought us Shantae and River City Girls. For a time, they focused on making educational media and games for children. So let's check this one out and see if it can make Oscar-winning directors out of us. As soon as you open the game, the voice of Sheldon J. Plankton himself greets you. Okay, so you're in charge now. Click new to make any kind of crazy cartoon you want. Remember, if you need my help, click on the help question mark down below. I'll be in my trailer. Okay, here's a brand new cartoon. First, go ahead and give it a title. You can change how it looks later. When you're ready to roll, just click action. And yes, he explains every single detail throughout the entire game, sometimes even stopping you to explain something he already did. I'm not sure why Plankton was the character they chose for this, but I don't entirely mind it either. I appreciate the persistent voice of Mr. Lawrence teaching me how to make a movie. This is where you pick the stuff for your scene. Choose wisely, and you'll be bossing stuff around in no time! Marvelous! Now add some characters by clicking the Actors button. I found the process complicated as a kid, and as an adult, I still kinda do, but I managed both times. You start by choosing a background from a myriad of locations. Many of these are from Nickelodeon shows, but others seem to be generic settings. You have a good selection to choose from, so you can make most visions come true with the tools you're given here. Once you choose a backdrop, you have to select characters and props. You can only use four of each per scene. Some are 2D and others are 3D. It's a little jarring to look at, but I don't entirely mind it. Before we get to the editor, just look at the character choices. Obviously, the developers were partial to Spongebob. That makes sense, it was always the most popular Nickelodeon show. Spongebob, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Plankton, and Gary are here, but Gary is just a little 2D sticker. This makes him drastically stand out from the rest of the cast. Jimmy Neutron has five characters, Jimmy, Goddard, Carl, Cindy, and Libby. Remember how Carl was the one left out of Nicktoons Basketball? Well, Sheen was left out of this one. Did Carl and Sheen have some sort of agreement as to who would be in each of the games? The other represented shows are Rugrats and Fairly Odd Parents. For Rugrats, we have Tommy, Chucky, Angelica, and... Fluffy? Why did Angelica's cat take priority over the entire main cast of Rugrats? Maybe they couldn't afford the other voice actors. For Fairly Odd Parents, we have Jimmy, Cosmo, Wanda, Vicky, and Cosmo and Wanda's faces. I'm not even joking. You can just have the outright faces of Cosmo and Wanda in your movie. 
They have all the same lines, but no bodies to do any actions with. Why would anyone want this? What's nice is how every character that can speak has a selection of hellos and goodbyes addressed to every other character in the game. If you want to hear your favorite Nickelodeon characters talking to one another, you have the perfect opportunity here. Now let's get on to the editor. You can move characters and props throughout the movie and even make them walk and run, but they always face forward and can't turn to the side or backwards. Kinda disappointing, but I can still work with this. You can also give them voice lines by choosing from a library of quotes. Many of them are from the shows, but others are just strange things they decided to include. It's mine! I can't let Spongebob see this! Ready when you are! What do you got to eat? I said so, that's who! Ah, a joke! <laughs> if Tommy can't do it, nobody can! This is too scary! I wonder where Tommy is! Oh, good boy, Goddard! Hinkle, fankle, dinkle do! Mmm, steamy! Fire on me, poop dick! I tell you what, you give me 20 bucks and we'll call the whole thing even. It also sounds like Roger Bumpus was having the time of his life with some of Squidward's lines. I'll choose from- Hi, Patrick! Hello, Vicky! What's happening, Carl? I think you're- How you doing, Jimmy? Hello, Cindy! Hello, Cosmo! Hi, you got it! Hey yo, Tommy! Chucky, my man! Bonjour, Angelica! Howdy ho, Fluffy! Oh look, it's SpongeBob, I'm so happy! No! Clarinet music rocks! Obviously, only characters who can talk have full libraries of voice clips. The animal characters just make their usual sounds. Hey, what do you mean Goddard can't talk? Didn't you play the AWE Jimmy Neutron game? Is it dangerous? Gary also has this one single meow. <coughs> that was horrifying. Obviously, with only specially selected voice lines, it's hard to really make a complex movie with the story you want to tell. So you have the option to record your own voice if you have a microphone. I'm gonna watch Lucy Lilliam on YouTube. No! no! He's kidding, right? The editor takes some getting used to, but you get the hang of it. Because this is just a small kids game, the editor isn't really refined and not one you can really mess around with too much. Along with voice lines, you can add character actions, sound effects, and visual effects. One thing I don't like is whenever you have a character fall down, you see them get back up again at the end of your action. How am I supposed to have dramatic death scenes? One thing that also isn't really great is that sometimes when you select a prop, it'll spawn too close to another one for you to select it. You don't have any control over layers here. You can also make the camera zoom or pan, but again, your control is limited and the movies usually look better without these effects. You can also add different scenes, then you can make fun transitions between them. Then you have the credits. Ah yeah, that one looks perfectly unreadable. You don't get to know who worked on this. One complication I had both as a child and adult happens whenever I try to do something with a prop. Sometimes an action that involves moving a prop will cause it to disappear entirely. I'm not sure why this is, but I've been able to resolve it by going further back in the editor. At least Plankton's comments keep me chuckling the whole time. At least until they get irritating. Oops. Your budget only allows four actors per scene. To add that new one, you'll have to get rid of one first. Listen up! Walks are special! First choose the walk you want, and then tell the character where to go by clicking and dragging them. If you don't like how your action looks, simply eliminate it by clicking on the trash can. Remember, you can change the order of things in the timeline. Just drag them left or right to change when they play. That's what Big Shot- That shows you where that is in your scene. You can line it up with other things by moving it left or right or click the trash can to delete it completely. You can inflate your budget by adding fancy pants camera moves and whiz-bang special effects. Why don't you try some when you're done directing your actors and props? Did I mention you can also add music? The songs are taken from the shows, and you have to use them wisely so they don't overshadow what your characters say. Now let's get on to some of the character designs. 
Most of them are pretty good, but why are the Fairly Odd Parents models so small compared to the other ones? Timmy is smaller than literal baby characters. Also, just like in the Jimmy Neutron PC game, Cindy still looks like a porcelain baby doll. Once you finish your movie, you can save it to your desktop or play it in a theater where the silhouettes of Nickelodeon characters watch it MST3K style. Let's check out some of my masterpieces. Hi, Squidward! See you later, Squidward. If only I had some cookies. Did someone say bees? I'm allergic to bees. You babies are so dumb! <laughs> oh yeah! Cookies mean so much to me! Sugar makes me crazy. Goodbye, babies. Allergies be darned! Goodbye, Carl! Bye, Jimmy! My name's Timmy. I have a short attention span. Um, I better go now. Hello, all you people! Get a load of this kid. You talk funny. Are you from Europe or something? What's wrong with you babies? Are your diapers on too tight? You! Pay attention! I'm a girl with looks, brains, and big plans for my future. I am the great Angelica. Don't you just love me? I hate you! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Whoa! Oh! No! No! Yeah! Oh! You know, for a bunch of stinky babies, you guys aren't so bad after all. Hop in clams! It's pretty impressive, all right. That's the fact, Jack. Oh, happy day! That was great! Technology makes me tingly all over. Oh, no! Hold on, I'm getting a beep. How about a movie? Ta-da! Prepare to be dazzled. And voila! Oh, this is great! So boring. Can't focus. Ah, oh, come on! Don't be such a baby! <laughs> this totally reeks. I can fix that. Ooh! What have I gotten myself into? Well, this stinks. Come back here, George! Ooh! Oh, please! Got a blast! This is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me, I hope. Stand back, I'm going in. Go ahead, make my day. Don't make me pull this trigger. I'll take care of that. We've got this fire under control. I'm all about fire safety. Try this one on for size. Gas planet! Oh no! My pants! H-E-L-P! Help! No! Me money! Hey! I like this game! Oh boy! The plan's already falling apart! Go on, Timmy! You can do it! Cosmo, Wanda, I wish for... This totally reeks. Come on, let's go! Are you with me, guys? I can hardly wait! Now what? A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. You'll do great, and I'll be right here to help you. <laughs> Interpretive dance, anyone? Ha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. I've got crazy feats. Several of them. Clarinet music rocks. Go with the music. Ha 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 
So what do we think? Masterpieces or what? Hard as this game is to get a grasp on, it isn't bad and you can have hours of fun with it. The possibilities are endless. Like I said before, it isn't exactly refined since it's just a simple game for children, but it's highly amusing. If you can find it, I'd recommend giving it a go. Now this wasn't the only Nickelodeon movie maker ever made. Another one, Tooncast Studio, was made for the Spongebob series alone. Next time, we'll check it out and see just what masterful creations we can make with it. Thank you for joining me, I will see you in the next memory.